guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making white cement coasters you won't believe how easy these are to make my name is Divya Sahadevan and I am a DIYer by heart and there is nothing more exciting than making things from scratch so today to make the coasters I'm using white cement but you can use the regular plain old cement as well to get a more rustic feel these coasters also make really pretty cute personalized gifts so without further delay let's get started So the first thing you'll need is of course the white cement and this I picked off Amazon but you can also just use anything that you have access to. Um, you need plain water, you need a disposable plastic container for you know mixing it and you need silicon mold. So this is not a mandate you can use anything you know uh, even uh, lids, uh, disposable lids uh, but just silicon mold just makes your job really easy. So put in some amount of uh, the white cement and there is no real ratio here but it's you just go with you know the mixture feel of it. So pour in your water a little at a time and uh, because this can get runny really easily so you pour in your water slowly until you get a smooth uh, mixture which is not really flowy. So if you see here now my mixture is kind of flowy and it's clearly got more water. So don't worry like if you have to adjust it all you need to do is add a little extra cement. So that's what I'm going to do here I'll just add a little bit more cement and a little bit more water. Give it a good mix it mixes really easily you just don't want any lumps or any dry cement sticking to the bottom it's still a little flowy as you can see here so i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more cement give it a good mix and now it's kind of looking good so if you see now it's not really flowing but it's become a thick smooth paste. So when it's looking like this now you can go ahead and transfer this into your molds. So if you're not using a silken mold make sure that you uh, you know lubricate or add a little bit of oil to your container before you pour in your white cement. So just want to spread it out evenly make sure it's gone into all the corners and then you need to tap it really firmly on the ground so what this does is it brings out all those tiny air bubbles to the top as you can see here they're really small so you keep tapping it give it a few good taps until you see that no more bubbles are really coming to the top so you can do this for maybe a minute or so and that should that should be enough just as my first I'm going to create my second coaster doing the same procedure again. So at the end of this you should be having two little cute looking coasters all ready and you need to leave this for a good 24 hours until it's really hot. So once it's ready you should have these really nicely set and hard and that's when you can start uh, removing it from your silicon mold and they should really easily come off so you can see here just using my fingers I'm just trying to remove my coasters from the silicon mold by slowly detaching it so it should come out pretty easily and that's where the you know advantage of using a silicon mold to a regular plastic mold container because you may have a really tough time removing it out of your mold so when I take it out of my silicon mold it has a really nice beautiful smooth finish and it doesn't really feel like you know something I've made just using cement and it looks really clean and really nice edges. So I've made a couple more earlier so I have a total of six coasters which I just wanted to make like a complete set. So now what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a smooth sandpaper and just sandpaper out the rough edges you may have. There may be a little bit you know extra cement and a few rough edges. You can just lightly you know brush the sandpaper on those rough spots and it will give you a smooth finish. Make sure you don't overdo it you want to do this very lightly. 
and I repeat this process over all my coasters. Once done, use a nice clean cloth and just wipe down your coaster so that you remove all those white cement powder which would have formed after the sandpapering. So now your coasters are ready to move on to the most exciting part and that is to paint them and here you can go all out, use the imagination. I'm using chalk paint and I want to keep it in shades of blue so I have two shades of blue and I have a darker shade so I'm going to be mixing all these together to form the base for my coaster. So I'm taking light blue and first I'm going to be painting one of my coasters light blue. Chalk paint is really easy to use so it's always my first preference when I'm doing DIY projects. So one of my coasters is now a nice light blue and then I'm going to be uh, painting my next coaster a different sort of blue. This is a Svenska blue from Annie Sloan. So uh, I'm going to be uh, giving this a nice Svenska blue. It's kind of like a greenish blue or a grayish blue you can say. And now I'm going to be mixing uh, the dark blue color that I have with these paints to just create different shades of blue and uh, apply this to the rest of my four coasters. And once I'm done, these are the different shades of blue that I was able to create and they are looking just like what I had in mind. You can go ahead and create any of your favorite shades or colors as per your choice. Next, I want to create some kind of patterns on these coasters and I like geometric patterns. So the easiest way to create them to get a nice finish is to use a painter's tape or masking tape. So I'm going to just uh, tape this onto my coaster in different shapes and patterns. So here I'm kind of creating a V kind of shape with this tape. So I put it on one edge. I'm going to tape the second piece forming a V and I'm just going to use a blade to cut out the excess tape from the corner and that will give me a nice clean V. Once that is done, I'm using a yellow chalk paint and I'm going to be painting in uh, the taped one of the regions. This will give a nice pretty pattern once we remove the tape. I'm just loving the contrast of the blue and the yellow. The only downside is yellow being you know a lighter shade. It needed at least three coats to kind of mask the blue underneath it. So make sure you choose a color which you know is easier to work with so this is what i have and these are the different patterns that i've created i loved creating these and i had to give at least three coats of yellow here to get this you know get the blue to kind of hide and now is the best part of actually removing the tape to see our patterns and you can see how clean and pretty they look so i've Prepare them, you know, with different uh, geometric patterns, but you can, you know, do the same or uh, it's really up to you. Or you can even do freehand drawing, which I'm not really good at. So I just played safe and chose the tape. But really, it's all up to your creation and imagination. You can go all out. But this is honestly the most satisfying part of this project was to remove these tapes. So it's normal to have a few uh, miss misses here and there and you may have to do a little bit of touch up like you can see there's a little bit of white coming through here and the yellow here is not really even so these touch ups I did manually uh, I just painted over it uh, just to cover up these small uh, gaps here and there but some of them have come really clean like these uh, they really didn't need any anything to really cover up. And at the end of it, these are my pretty little coasters and they are almost done. All you need to do is now seal the coasters and for that I'm using the Annie Sloan chalk paint lacquer because they are going to be, you know, um, 
exposed to some amount of moisture so you want to seal your paint so that you don't uh, damage the coasters so you need to give a nice one layer of the lacquer and here I've chosen the Annie Sloan matte finish lacquer so give it one layer and uh, just put it out to completely dry before you work with these so now the last thing that we need to do is you know cover up the base because it can be pretty rough if you want to place this on your table so for that i'm using a black sponge uh, you get to buy these sheets and i bought this from itsy bitsy so i'm just going to cut out circles in the shape of my coasters and uh, so i've cut out one here uh, not the perfect circle possibly but uh, I'm going to cut out another five and you can always adjust it out you know trim out the edges when you seal them onto your coasters so I've cut out another five of these uh, circles and I'm going to be uh, attaching this to the ends of my coaster using my hot glue gun And for the final finish, just trim out any of the peaking edges. And that's it. Your coaster is now finally ready. And these guys are the final look of my coasters. I'm loving the blue and yellow. Let me know what you think. And also stack them up together. Take a piece of string, tie them in a bow and they make the perfect personalized gifts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think on the comment section below. Also, don't forget to tag me and use the hashtag livingwithdivi on your DIY creations. I would love to see your creations. So if you loved this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again next week with a new video. Till then, take care. It's me, Divi, signing out.